<laughs> awesome. Come. Here we are. Our own magical space, magical place, beginning of our practice. So I welcome you. You welcome yourself. <clears throat> yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here I put my hands here. Let's let's do some of this. So do some chest thumping right away. Yeah, and you know, sit. Wake yourself up. <laughs> Okay, let's do some head wake up to it. Just do these light taps all, all over the skull and listen to the sounds. Good. And then we'll take it down to this little area right here. It's a very tender spot, maybe. Rub it, wake it up. Great. And then let's we'll take the hands together, give them a nice little rub. We're going to take these hands up to this little protection mudra. I love that. You know, it's, oh, I'm so cold, or whatever it is. You know, you're rubbing your upper arms. There's something there. You're going to take it to your forearms. Give them a little squeeze. And then bring the hands together, and we'll just change and give uh, the forearms a nice little squeeze. Good morning, gorgeous. Yes, all this good stuff, waking it up. And then we'll come down to your legs, whatever it is, whatever it is, access you to access Good morning, beautiful legs. Good. <laughs> nice. All right. Ah, let's turn the palms up and just feel the vibrational energies we are inviting in. We are welcoming whatever you're dealing with, whatever's happening in your outer world. And soothe the inner world. And just as you are, take a full breath in, hold it at the top. And let it go through your mouth. And breathe in, and hold it to the top. Hold it there, take in more air. And release. And then one more time, full breath in. Take in more, more release. Bring your hands together at your heart. Inhale and lengthen tall. And exhale, stay here for a moment. And chant Om three times. Inhale. Oh. Dropping into your welcoming meditation. Feeling your breath. Releasing your hands, gently open your eyes. Okay, so we're going to start lying down over a blanket underneath the chest. So let's see. Yogi's choice here, you know, you can make it if you have the blanket this way and you roll it up, then you'll have uh, less of a roll. And if you feel like, oh, I want a bigger roll, then we'll turn it this way and roll it up. And you want something for your head. 
this there. Let's look at the blanket roll, and then you know, I love a blanket to lie on, make it nice. Maybe a heating pad. It just makes it nicer. Okay. And then I'll just slip in. Actually, I want to put the heating pad under the shoulders just for fun. Okay. And then we want to put that, you know, more like in the middle of your shoulder blade so the heart is lifting. Maybe your arms can come over. Maybe they need to stay down. And then add an extra lift for your head or, or even something to hire underneath your hips if you need more support. Okay. And so once you're here, friends, and wiggle yourself in. I'm just gonna replace the shoulder blades. So have both arms out to the side. I'm just gonna take the right arm up to the sky and reach it up so the shoulder comes up and then just bring it back down and then do the same with the left arm. Just to uh, reposition, see how that is. Right, wiggle your shoulders. Inviting yourself to release. So the heart is lifting, the shoulders are dropping. If you would like to straighten your legs, you can do that. Let's begin by noticing any place that might be resisting this. You have you know, one tender shoulder or something there that you can make friends with. If you invite yourself to rest, notice if you're holding any tension in your face. But you know, like if you hurt yourself, the first thing you do is, ah, you crunch your face. You stub your toe, you crunch your face. The body's way of receiving stress. So bring that. <clears throat> Focus back into whatever you're feeling here. Okay. The next step is just to take the arms overhead if that is okay. You're going to change things and lengthen things. And then again, we're just going to rest here as best as you can. With every exhale, inviting this body to be a little heavier. So we're going to take another five or so breaths here. Every breath an invitation. One nice big breath in, and maybe you take in more air at the top and then release it. <clears throat> and we'll stay on this blanket roll and move into a windshield wiper. And so your arms might come back out to the sides, to rocks, um, side to side, and let yourself roll over the blanket like you're massaging your upper chest. Or back of your heart. I guess that's not your chest, but it's still receiving something. So it counts. Right. Okay. Then I'm going to keep the knees bent, bring the feet into uh, hip distance apart. And then drop in again. Maybe the arms come over your head. So our next move will be to lift the hips and they don't have to come up that high and you stay on the blanket roll. You just do that a few times so the arms can stay over, they can come down, whatever you need to do. Just lift. 
and lower. A few times, feel your feet. We're doing the work. And then the next time you lift your hips, and they're just a smidgey off the floor. I'm just gonna wag the hip side to side. So I know for myself when I do this, the hands get a little tense and I'm gonna work on just relaxing them very gently. And then bring yourself back down and just maybe come back to the beginning. So the arms can come out to the sides, the legs stretch out, or they stay bent, whatever you need to do. And then just come back to, if you had any places that were a little tender at the beginning, just notice if they're still feeling that way, or maybe they have released. So I'm gonna bend the left leg and my right leg is stretched straight. I'm just gonna roll onto the right side. So I'll push the left foot down, lift the hips, shift the hips over to the left side. So you're already on your right hip and then roll yourself over. And we're gonna come to bring this little bit of support just underneath the side of the chest. So adjust yourself, whatever you need to do. And then if it works to take your arms over and rest here, if you're not, you know, you know, you gotta take care of yourself first. And then I'm just gonna roll side to side. Maybe the arms are overhead, maybe not. And, and you know, I'm gonna take my right hand and just hold the left wrist, give it a little pull. Just rocking. Okay, and then find a place here, with a little bit of discomfort that you could just drop in. So I've released the left hand and just letting it rest on the floor. Just gonna adjust the camera angle. But stay and breathe. <laughs> and then we'll release ourselves. We're gonna bring this right arm out. Put the left foot on the floor and roll back onto your back and make any adjustments. Good. Okay. And then reposition yourself so you feel you're here. Okay. And we stretch the left leg out, right leg's gonna stay bent. Press into the right foot, lift the hips, shift them over to the right so you're on the left hip, and then roll over onto your side. The arm will find your place here. Good, and then start to just rock yourself side to side. Massaging. Dropping in, or if you want to keep rolling, that's fine too. Nice, and then make your way back onto your back. I'm just moving my stuff over, but we just need to come back onto your back. And then find your place here. So I wiggle the up the shoulder blades. It just they come in. You might do that too. And take your arms over your head, stretch them if that works. Feel things have changed and open. And then we'll bend the knees again and we'll lift and lower the hips. And again, it doesn't need to be very high. Just giving this back of the heart massage. We do one more, and as the hips lift, you'll keep them there, and to start to rock your hips side to side. Okay, 
and come all the way down. All right, we're going to come up off the blanket roll. I'm going to take the hands behind the head, lift the head, and then maybe you'll just press yourself up or roll to the side, whatever you need to do. Let's move this blanket roll out of the way. And then bring yourself back down and maybe you're like, oh, let's see if I can challenge myself to come down and maybe the feet come up and we'll just see what happens. Maybe it's this for a minute, just for fun. And then all the way down. And so you might have something behind your head, and, but nothing underneath the chest. And Is that magic? Magic. <laughs> Great. Okay. And we'll come back. Just stay as you are. Bend your knees. Let's take some windshield wiper here and get a little looser. Good. Then bring yourself back into just lying on your back with the knees bent. And we're going to take lying down twist. You have your little blanket roll if you need a support. Okay, I'm going to hug the knees in first before I drop them over to the right side and feel how that is. Okay, and my knees are going to the right. This blanket can come in between the knees. Sometimes that's mm, really nice. Let's take a few moments here and make any adjustments. I always think of this lying down twist, not complicated, but not easy for everybody. As one of those magic poses. About releasing and receiving the breath and just allowing the body to settle into this twist. One more full breath in. Take in more air if you can. Release. Let's do that one more time. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Big breath in. Take in more air. And release. Okay, we'll go to the second side. So I have this blanket between my knees. I'm just going to bring it with. And then drop over to your second side and adjust your body as you need to. Find your twist on the left side. And opening the right side. Expanding the breath. We'll just come back to that breath work. A nice big breath in. Take in more. Release. Do it one more time. Okay. We're going to come back up to sitting. I'm just going to roll over onto the left side. Press up. Great. We'll take your blanket roll. Now we're going to put it the long way. So this time I'll have it open this side. And so it's the length of your spine. Oh, you know, I'll just take a moment too to just refold your blanket if it's not, it's not nice. Very nice blanket. Okay. So this is going to go this way. This on top of the head, and then we'll sit behind it. I'm on the floor. Bring yourself down. Okay, and you you can make it less by putting something underneath your hips, underneath your head. You can also take the tip of the blanket and just tuck it under. And you've got a higher head support if you like. Okay, and then once you're here, friends, you'll bend your knees, walk the feet a little wider apart, pigeon toe the toes slightly, and bring the knees together. 
And then I'll do that same little shoulder adjustment. This time I'll start with the left arm in the air. Just reach it up and bring it back down and out. And do the same with the right. Okay, and then we'll take a few moments here just to feel. You might be a little uncomfortable between the shoulder blades, right at the back of the heart. And maybe that's your place of focus or whatever you, you know, whatever you're aware of here. Release your jaw. Okay, if you're okay to take the arms over your head, <clears throat> maybe you want to stretch the legs out. I didn't give myself enough room, but let's see whatever feels okay. It's going to take you into a Maybe a place of a little bit of imbalance. So, okay. Let's settle in for another three or so breaths. And your arms can go wherever you like. We're going to come back to windshield wiper. So now we're no changing a little bit of what we're pressing into. And let's just do a few more, letting yourself really rock in your stability and your instability. And then we'll bring the feet to the floor. We'll bring them into hip distance apart. And again, we're gonna lift and lower. So you don't have to go that high. Your arms might come down by your sides, whatever feels okay. You start to lift yourself up even just a little bit and lower back down. Whatever capacity. And maybe as you move into these next few ones, <clears throat> it's almost like you're pushing into the blanket roll with whichever part of your back is hitting it. Which means you can flatten that blanket. Strength of your back. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll lift the hips just even a baby bit. You know, just wave your hips side to side and if the balance feels really off, widen your feet. Okay. And then we'll lower down and we'll take three more breaths here. In whatever position feels good, legs stretch, legs bent. Basic resting pose with the feet wide, knees together. Any, any of those. Okay, and then we'll come up again. So you can roll to the side or grab your head and lift it up, shoot to the floor, come up, and then we'll move this off to the side and come back and you know, maybe it's a this. Oh, I can already feel my back. Like, I'm going to use the word relax. Heavy, grounded. Just adjusting myself so I can stretch my legs out. If you could stretch your legs out in 22. Okay. Nice. And then just feel yourself settle. All right. Let's bend the knees, friends. Feet on the floor. Good. Okay. We're going to drop the knees over. I'm going to roll to the left side. And we're going to take this right arm behind. Yes. And then we'll roll back onto your back. And, you know, you find a happy place for your shoulder. If you can go deeper, maybe you lift the hips and bring the arm. The left hand holds that right hand. Just kind of gives it a little pull. And we'll spread the fingers of the right hand. And then adjust your feet so you're in an okay place. Take your left hand. And maybe you just even... 
rest it on your right shoulder for a moment or give it a little rub and a little massage. You might even go into the neck, anything there. Release the jaw. Okay, and then the right, the left hand can stay there and can come back out. If you're okay to come into a little bit of the windshield right where it's just going to be a little bit. Just opening things up. Again, I'm, I'm really spreading the fingers of the right hand, opening that hand up. Okay, and then come back just into whatever your line here. I'm going to take the left hand. It might go behind the head, or you might get the elbow behind the head, or maybe the forearm, anything there, just to lift that left arm up. And then the legs can go straight out, or they can stay bent and just rest here. A nice big breath in. Hold it at the top. Take in more. And release. And then we'll release from this. I'll take the left arm back out. Bend the knees. Lift the hips. And take your right arm out. And just let both arms come out and rest. And you can feel this release of it attracts energy. Okay, left arm super excited. So. Knees are bent. We'll just roll over to the right side and take your left hand behind you. And then roll yourself back onto your back. Oops. So you can grab the hand and just pull it, or, or it needs to come out more. Take care of your shoulder. You really spread the fingers of the left hand. Anchor. Few moments to just let the body receive this. Make any little movements. Soften. And then we'll take the right hand over, just acknowledging whatever's happening here, or massaging and healing there. Take this right arm back out and we'll move into a, a, a windshield wiper. Very gentle and doing your best here to keep the left hand connected. Just keep, every time I take the knees over to the left and the left hand has a bit of freedom, I'm just spreading the fingers. And then bring yourself into this resting. And I'll take the right arm up from behind the head. Maybe the legs are going to stretch out or not. And I say release the jaw again. I say that because you know this is these are the places that tension wants to creep in. Smile, drop your eyes. The eyes can rest. When the eyes rest, the jaw rests. The heart will rest. Okay, nice big breath in. Hold it at the top. Take in more air. And release. And release the right arm. Bend your knees. Press into the feet. Lift the hips. Release the left arm. And just feel that for a moment or two. Okay, we're gonna take our blanket roll. So this one, I have, we have it nice and long. I'm gonna actually re-roll it with the shorter side. And this is gonna go underneath our sacrum so you can decide how, how big your blanket roll is gonna be. Greater lift to the hips. So once you have that, you're just 
lift your hips, put that blanket underneath your sacrum, and you know, maybe snuggle in. Take a few moments just here. I'll keep the knees bent. Maybe you walk your feet further away or out because we're going to go to windshield wiper. And once you're settled and you feel okay, then you're starting to just move these knees side to side and massaging whatever parts are touching this blanket. Well, it's using this windshield wiper. Just massaging this low back area, outer hips, maybe here too. Good. Okay, let's do a few more. And then we're going to bring it into a lying down cat cow. So you'll come back onto your back. You might move the blanket roll up or down. You're going to feel for yourself. Like I'm going to bring it up a little bit so I can feel the tailbone and the hip creases in which you're releasing down. And then the feet might walk out a little bit. You're just going to find this rolling cat cow, lifting your tail up and putting it down, or the hips moving. Feet are doing the work. Okay, so you're just going to play with this, figure it out. And then we want to find a way to rest into the idea of this cow pose so that the tailbone's dropping, the chest is lifting. The tush is not, my tush is not on the floor. I'm just going to find this way of it's just hanging. Just hanging. Cheeks are hanging. Now, if your back is tender, you might engage the belly button in a little bit. Release your jaw. You'll start to find a, a very gentle windshield wiper. So my knees are just. I'm going to say they're swaying. It's not even a windshield wiper. It's just a gentle sway. And at the same time as you're doing this, friends, can you soften your knees? <clears throat> that might not happen. But even just bringing your awareness into this idea of softening invites it. Good. Okay. And then bring yourself back into this resting place. Okay, I'm going to lift the hips and push the blanket down slightly so maybe it's more on the sacrum and we can let the mid-back drop a bit. We're going to bring the knees into the chest. If this works for you, you to bring them both in. You could rest your hands on the thighs or maybe they come all the way in. You just find what works so you can rest. You're going to use the word rest here. And softening the glutes, letting the back press into the floor. This blanket is just helping. Just lift the tail a little bit. Find your soft breath. I'm going to take the hands behind the knees or behind the thighs, just at the backs of the knees. Let the calves come back down if that works for you. Using the hands to ground a little bit and back to the thighs. Take one more full breath here. And release the feet to the floor. You might take your hands to the blanket roll first, just to kind of stabilize so you know where that is to the feet. And then take a moment here. <clears throat> if it's good for you to stretch your legs out, if you like that, then the arms over your head and take a moment to do that. Okay. I'm going to do a little hip walking. So my legs are extended. I'm going to press the right leg away and the left leg away. Rebound the knees so we can come off the blanket roll. Just take it back out, come all the way down. Okay, let's come back to windshield wiper. Just do whatever you're doing here. Good. 
Okay, do one more. And then we'll come back onto your back. Let's bring the feet right together. Let me just move this. They can go farther away, you'll see. We're just gonna rock the knees side to side. So we're gonna keep the feet and the knees together. That's just gonna bring a little bit of a different focus into this twist, twisting action. Good. Okay. And coming back onto your back. This time now walk your feet, maybe even off your sticky mat. So it's really wide. And then come back into this windshield white bird. Press the feet down and away so you get a little bit of a bigger sway. Good. And come back onto your back. Walk your feet in and bring both knees in. Play with this. You know, it's a lot for the back that we've done already. So think of this as like the maybe the stretch. Okay. We'll pull these knees in and take them out to the sides. And then you stay here. This is great work. You want to go to a happy baby. You can see how that is. And rock side to side. I'm going to do a little, little fun dance with the legs. So if this works, I'll bring the left leg in, extend the right one. It's almost like maybe they're meeting in Baddha Konasana in the center. And... <laughs> Just rocking. Yes, like a little happy baby. Okay. Good. And then we'll bring the knees back in. Rock yourself, rest in the knees in. Good. Let's keep the left leg in, set the right foot on the floor, or extend the right leg. Okay. So we're just going to go set, um, back and forth between legs and take the arms overhead, stretch the left leg out, bring the right knee in. Nice little moment here. And then I'm just going to switch it to go nice and slow. Okay, so you can stay at this pace. This is good work. If you're like, oh, I feel like I want to go a little faster. You can do that, speed it up. And I'm going to take it to that, the next phase, which is uh, maybe we'll come and just rest for a moment. Here's the next phase. This is interesting. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the head, lift the head up. And then as I bring the knee in, I'll use the opposite arm on the touch and we just switch. So do whatever works. The action is the action. In action, you know, you're doing the action. There's no inaction. So whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Okay. And then because I have the hands behind the head, I'm going to bring both knees in and just bring the elbows towards the knees. Drop the shoulders. Release yourself all the way down. Maybe stretch your legs out. We'll take a few moments in the pseudo shavasana to just feel. Okay, so the legs are stretched straight and underneath you, you're pretty much on the floor. I'm gonna bend the left leg. So the left foot's on the floor and it's turned out slightly so the toes are turned out slightly. And then we'll push into the left foot, lift yourself up and bring it down. Let the knee open. I'm just gonna do this a few times. Maybe the right leg needs to go wider out. Just gonna see. So this is great. You can stay with this. You want to go a little bit deeper. And as you roll to the right side, I'm going to take this left leg and just swing it and then bring it back. Just give it a little swing. It's about the rolling, maybe. Okay. And then we'll do one more. 
whatever you're doing, great work. It's action, not inaction. And then come back onto your back and have the left knee still bent. The right leg is stretched out. And we're going to come into twist. Maybe it's this Alexander twist. And we'll put the left foot on top of the right thigh. And the right hand's going to find this left knee and take it over into this twist. And you have your blanket roll. You can always put that and fold it and put it there. Maybe this left leg's going to go a little straighter. And then I'm lifting the right shoulder, finding this twist. If the knee could stay bent and you could have the foot on top, you make it comfortable so you can smile and still be here. Okay, so now I'm just going to deepen the twist by really extending the right leg, like right through the heel, like anchoring this base of spine. I'll do the same with the left leg, just stretching through and no tension in the face. I'm going to go to the next step. So I'm going to take the right hand and just lay it on this left thigh or left knee. And then the left hand is going to find this right foot. And this might not happen, so don't be too hungry for it. It's, it's whatever it is. So just stay as you were and smile and go, I'm good with this action. Take one more moment. Okay, before we come out, let's bring that breath work in. So nice full breath in. Hold it, take in more, then release. As you release, and you come back onto your back. Okay, we're going to just feel. So it makes me so happy when I feel all these things and really what I'm doing. Rolling around on the floor. Bend your right leg and the right foot turns out slightly and the left leg might go out a little bit and we'll just start by pressing into the hip, moving it side to side. Just enjoying simple movements. And then if you want to go a little deeper as you roll over, we'll take this right leg and stretch it out and just bring it back. And then we'll take that, um, and we'll come back onto the back. We'll come in the same way. I'll put the right foot on top of the left thigh, and then the left hand finds this and takes it over. And then throw your props in. I have a bolster here. I'm just going to use that. Maybe this right leg is going to go straight or not. The left leg might be bent or straight. Just take a few moments to let your body, oh, this is what this side feels like. Now I'm going to start to press through both legs, and it's just looking for an anchor. And it's a stretch right here. Nothing works. Come back to that nice big breath in. Hold it. Take in more air. And then release and release the breath and come out of this twist. Bring yourself back onto your back and you know, hug the knees in again. Could be a rocking, could be side to side. You know, you feel, oh, what do I need here? Okay. We're gonna come. Yeah, okay. We're gonna come back up. So I'm gonna rock and roll a few times and massage all the stuff that we've broken. And we'll just bring yourself over to your side. Oh, I'll give you one more. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. All right, let's take the bolster. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to show you really quick. So I'm going to come with the, I want the knees on the floor, and I'm going to find the tops of the thighs. So you're going to play a little bit, like where can I keep my knees on the floor? You see, I'm going to move myself, find this place where the tops of the thighs are supported. And then you lie down. And see how that is. And if you want more height, you just put a blanket on top of your bolster. <laughs> okay, I would lie down. I have a little puppy here. You, you can stay on your there we go. stay on your forearms or bring yourself down and be generous. Like move yourself around. If you don't have a bolster, 
maybe just put a blanket underneath the tops of the thighs and you know, I'm looking for a place where my knees will stay on the floor. If your knees are lifted, it's a-okay. If it feels good, then go with it. Okay. All right. And so hopefully you snuggled in. It feels okay. I'm just going to rest here. Just allow the natural curve of this lower back to come in. The thighs are back. You have your head turned one way, just for the next few moments, turn it the other way. One more breath. So I'm just going to bring my head to center and it might rest on the hands. Listen, if you're okay to come up, you might come up. What we're going to do is just do windshield wipers so you see what, what your body needs. So I'm going to bend the knees and just rock them side to side. They don't have to go super anything. We're just being very gentle rock. You could be on your chair, whatever feels okay. And then we'll start to egg beat a little bit. So slowly. Circling each leg or the lower leg, and then reverse your little egg beater here. You can feel quite a, I'm going to say, pressure from massaging on the fronts of the thighs. So you can feel that too. So circle, change your direction. Change your direction. Okay, then we're going to come back and we keep the knees bent. Um, feet are just dropping wherever they go, like you're at a slumber party. And allow your knees to kind of sink to the floor. Maybe the feet are touching even. Give it this traction. Okay, just going to add a little bit more. I'm going to call it traction. I'm going to keep the left knee or left thigh into the bolster. See if I could just lift the right thigh up a bit. Like you're taking them for a walk, and then put it back down and lift the left thigh. Even, they don't need to come up, you might not even see it happening. It's just a little whatever happens here, you just lift it and then come back. And I'll stretch the legs out again to so see that bit of extra grounding. And then even stretch the legs, see if I can get a little longer. Good. And then we'll take a few breaths here. You could turn your head again if you like. I'm just going to stay on my chin. And put your mind into your knees, whether they're resting on the floor or just hovering. Imagine they can get a little heavier. Press ourselves up. We're going to move this bolster up slightly so now it's more into the low belly area and I'm going to come right back down here. We're just stretching now maybe more the mid back lower back area so let's see my hip bones hip crease is, is on the bolster and so is I can feel like the navel is almost any navel on the center of the bolster okay and then if you want to turn your head you can or whatever works just rest here for a few moments if your knees are bothering you tuck your toes under and press through the heels and then bring the legs back down and see if that helps. Can you breathe a little bit of pressure into the bolster as you breathe in. And sending that breath into the back. And we'll come back to windshield wiper. Ish. So you'll bend your knees. You don't have to come. Your heels don't have to come close to your hips. Wherever they go here, you can sway them side to side. Maybe you walk your uh, knees further apart. 
We're going to come back to that A B in action. So it could be very slow. Feel the twisting, the turning, the, the action. No inaction. Reverse your A B. We're not going very fast. Okay, you're gonna keep the knees bent, bring the soles of the feet together, and they don't have to, not, maybe just the outer edges of the feet. Just drop in for three breaths. And then all we're gonna do here is stay here, but just take the feet out to the sides a little bit. So you're like almost, you know, the feet are, are out of, outside of the hips. One more full breath. Maybe take in more and release. Just walking the knees to a place where I can press myself up. Nice. Okay. I'm going to take a child's pose. It could just be sitting. You have your bolster. Maybe you want to bring the bolster in, and maybe this is your child's pose. Or this is your child's pose. Everyone wants this feels actually pretty grand. So let's stay here for a moment. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll press ourselves up and move into um it is Shavasana time. I'm gonna take the legs up the wall with the bolster. If that you want to do that for a few moments, I'll let you know when we're halfway. And if you want to set up for your sweet shavasana, then you can do that too. And there it is. So whatever feels good. Yeah, I'll use a strap around the legs for this legs up the wall. Strap. Move the buckle so it's not on the skin. Okay. Socks on, stretch your toes, puppies on. We're into this great gift of, well, you know, I feel like all of it is a great gift. You gift yourself, but setting yourself up in space to simply be. This is luxury. And making sure you set yourself up comfortably. I'm using the icon of the sand legs. And you're sitting right here beside me. You just want to throw it in. Anything that facilitates extra rest. Here's where we bring in all of our powers of awareness. Noticing where we bring in tension. The shoulders, the hands, the feet, the belly, the backs of your eyes. Maybe at this time you remind yourself that you are deeply worth this moment. Nobody needs anything from you this moment. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. This is your time to rest and walk.
happy as you are to stay. If you'd like to shift into lying down Shavasana or anything else, make that movement with you. Dropping into the deepest state of relaxation. Maybe it's a big inhale and a sigh, exhale. Being as you are, if you wish to just remain in Shavasana as we see all this practice, that's lovely. And if you're ready to come out and beginning to make the movements you need to. Favoring this repose, feeling into the energies you've released and open and grounded, and <clears throat> spending a full hour just focusing on yourself. I'm going to take one hand to my belly and one to my heart. And Connecting to these two sacred spaces within. Take a nice big breath in. Take in more at the top. And as you exhale, perhaps the hands come to the heart. We bow your chin. Just honoring all that you are at this moment. And seal this practice with one only inhale. Oh. Get all that goodness into your hands, all that goes within you, anything you need, share that to yourself deeply. It's a great reminder that you are more than you see. All right. Happy energetic day. And yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope the sound was okay and everything was okay. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Love you all. See you. Have a great day.